Welcome back. The election results in several battleground states continue to be under intense focus as allegations of voter fraud are being investigated. Trump campaign attorney and former federal prosecutor Sidney Powell joins me now with more. All right, good evening, Sidney. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm, I'm sure you're very busy now. Can you give me some idea of what you're working on now and uh, what exactly you are doing on the Trump uh, in this effort to, to identify problems with the election? I am working on the massive aspect of, of system-wide election fraud, definitely impacting the swing states and likely going far beyond that. We're talking about the alteration and changes in millions of, of votes, some being dumped that were for President Trump, some being flipped that were for President Trump, uh, computers being overwritten to ignore signatures all kinds of different means of manipulating the Dominion and Smartmatic software that, of course, we would not expect Dominion or Smartmatic to admit. Well, uh, and, and now that you mention it, they've denied that they uh, have done anything uh, improper, and they deny that uh, this claim that there are 6,000 votes that went from, uh, Biden, from uh, President Trump to Biden had anything to do with their software. Uh, and, uh, uh, but, but at the same time, as you put together your case, Sydney, I assume that you are getting to the bottom of exactly what Dominion is, who started Dominion, how it can be manipulated, if it is manipulated at all, and what evidence do you have to prove this? Oh, yes. We are collecting evidence through a fire hose as hundreds of American patriots across the country are stepping forward with what they know about this issue, including some, well, including some people that are taking great risks to do it. And as you do so, what, what, is your, what is your intent here? If you can establish that there is corruption in the use of this software, this Dominion software, as you allege, and you say you have evidence, how do you put that together and prove that on election night or immediately after, that at the time that the votes were being either tabulated or put in, that we can prove that they were flipped? There, are, there is statistical evidence, there is all kinds of mathematical evidence, uh, essentially forensic evidence, math that cannot be disputed. We have eyewitnesses to different features of the machine. We have eyewitnesses to different aspects of the machine being uploaded with data when it was not supposed to be and never being certified. No state that had anything done to the machine prior to the certif prior to right prior to the election without a new certification is going to have to invalidate its votes. It's going to have to go to the state legislatures to be decided, Janine. And there's another thing: Democratic officer office holders have been raising issues with the Dominion machines for a long time, and the government has turned a blind eye to those. So there's also a you know, it, substantial reason for them to keep just the government there. people to keep H defending on, themselves. Sydney, Sydney um, I believe that it's Elizabeth Warren, Amy Klobuchar, I was reading, and another senator that I don't remember all had objections to Dominion because it was capable of being manipulated. Those are just two, it, and I know I read about three. Go ahead. Yes, Car Carolyn Maloney, I think, was the first one, and she commissioned right. a report on it, which we happen to have a copy of. Notably, all the articles that she cited in the letter that she wrote, and I don't remember right now which government official she wrote it to, but all the articles she cited have been wiped from the Internet in the last few days. And also, uh, Mr. Uh, Lord Malik Brown's name has been taken off the website for the company that he runs through the UK and Canada that has a role in this. It's either Semantic or Smartmatic or the two. They're, one is a subsidiary of the other. It's all inextricably intertwined. The money creating it came out of Venezuela and Cuba. It was created for the express purpose of being able to alter votes and secure the re-election of Hugo Chavez and then Maduro. They've used it in Argentina. There is an American citizen who has exported it to other countries. And it is one huge, huge,
criminal conspiracy that should be investigated by military intelligence for its national security uh, implications. Yes, and, and, it, and the, uh, hopefully the Department of Justice, but but who knows anymore? Sidney Powell, uh, good luck on your uh, on your mission. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you, Judge Janine, and people who want Del- to help can contribute to this defense at www.defendingtherepublic.org. All right, thank you, Sydney. All right, Corey Lewandowski.